Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. Royal Reconciliation Hopes Dashed as Meghan Markle's Controlling Nature Exposed Even he, Harry, was as notorious after participating in the Royal Salute Polo Challenge at the Grand Champions Polo Club in Wellington. We will update and analyze for you precisely what went down in the video. I believe the Royal Salute Polo Challenge at the Grand Champions Polo Club in Wellington was the Meghan Markle event that most clearly demonstrated her controlling nature, Royal commentator Kinsey Schofield observed. Meghan also had some very pointed words for a woman she told she couldn't be in a picture with Harry. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, hypocritical to the fore, pretended to kiss for the cameras in a show of affection after Harry had just scored the opening goal of a soccer match, even though he captained his team to victory. Why, you know what, though? Meghan doesn't need to be jealous of those other girls throwing themselves at Harry. Oh, God, are they even there? I guess she's scared to lose Harry because, after all, he's her ticket to fame and fortune. Well, that was what she thought. Now, if Harry fancies another girl, Meghan Markle will lose her favorite object to take advantage of. Do you? Do you know, though, that Harry used to be incredibly hands-on with Santa Bali, that charity? He spends long every single year in Africa, he has done that for years on end. He even gets involved behind the scenes. He would get down in the dirt with the kids, play, mess up the hair, and hug them, with not even a camera around. He even said at some point that Africa was his spiritual home. So how did Harry feel when he realized that, basically, his new girlfriend's humanitarian and charitable instincts were pretty much the same as his? He said that they had their heads screwed on just right now and had plans for their philanthropic future together. Such a shame, though, Harry has been back to Africa once since Meghan Markle's poor, poor me tour. And he was on his own. Guess she was busy to go with him. Why could she not come with me? Well, maybe she had to do some milkshake shopping or get those kids out of the hair for school time. She does need to set her priorities, though. But gosh, Meghan Markle was not over the moon to return to Africa. I mean, that was the scene of their new relationship. And I was like, wow, what an exciting opportunity for her to hug kids without the cameras in the face. After all, Harry and Meghan are super high-level philanthropists, are not they? And remember Meghan said that the women were her sisters. They are all colored women. I am sure she will next time. But then again, sisters are not Meghan's thing. But anyhow, she is always going to be there for the polo and is going to clap excitingly while Harry rides his horse, letting everybody know that she is the strong one in the relationship. She wears the pants. That is why she steals the trophy away from the recipients, insisting she be in the middle and front for all photos. She has to be there. She should protect him from the cameras, do not you know? Well, Harry is afraid of the cameras. The guys from the paparazzi. Though Megan cannot even hide from them, I mean, she cannot just see them wherever they are. All the time, she was looking for a lens to be able to flash her infamous rictus grin. But anyway, back to the story of this woman, whom Mrs. H was so bloody jealous of. So now Mrs. H has just basically pushed her out of the way because she does not want to stand next to Harry to get in the photo when she was the chairwoman of the Centabli charity. Hmm. I guess that tells us now just how insecure Megan is. I mean, a pretty, accomplished woman comes within a mile of Harry, and Megan just cannot be doing with that, so she has to shove her out of the way. No need to worry, Megan, no one would take your scruffy prince in the first place. Megan is doomed always to be unhappy that kink of tight grasp of everything, no room for herself to overtake anything. It's really so good that they split up and just let Megan and Harry go their own ways. That would have absolutely stressed up the whole seventh floor, including me, for nothing. They're just far apart, and it's just never going to be possible for them to cover up this gap, I believe. King Charles will always do his best to reunite the whole family, to fill the home again, but I just never believe that's going to happen. 
Megan will never be a royal now, she never was before, she never would be. I mean, it was hard enough just to make someone like her live in a palace. Nobody even likes Harry. They should just stop playing polo. He's just so rude to those poor horses, now he's just the team's mascot. I mean, Netflix really must be desperate if that's the best they could get out of him, I guess. His combative, impulsive nature on the polo field just wasn't made for a TV show obviously, it didn't belong to him. And then Meghan just did her. Distracted everybody from the event and wanted to be the event. The thing is, it was actually kind of funny, right? But did she think that, did she think that everybody loved her? I mean, I kind of like what she was wearing. I do not know. I love white linen as much as everybody else, but, really, not only did it not fit her right, she should not have been wearing it to a horse event. And those stilettos. I was certain she would fall in the grass after every step, oh, my goodness. She forgets very quickly. So I will tell her what Harry did at the polo, aside from being a polo player, a polo rider, he also used his spurs on the polo ponies. With the result that they were always sore and bleeding. He is a rough rider, and not a good one. He should be abolished full stop, and I happen to know for a fact some of those have been shut off or taken off YouTube for telling the truth about Harry M. any times. Things should come to light, for, it certainly seems Megan loves the limelight. She looks so hungry, for excitement, I mean. There was a polo game before, and she managed to elbow her way in and stood right in front of Harry's team, as though she played the damn sport. It was comical to see. She even tried to grab at a prize that was on the table. I mean, she always stands out, Meghan Markle, that's for sure. She's so desperate to hold on to wealthy people. And she's even desperate not able to tell the lady with the cup what to do. I mean, the more I learn about it, the more I realize that Meghan Markle really has a problem with who she is deep down. I can't actually brighten up the fact that she's this hardcore slut who's just a terrible bully, as these rumors have revealed. I can tell you one thing for certain, Meghan doesn't even like polo. She only knows she's supposed to be in the limelight, so she's squashed between the two of them. Yeah, I'm a winner, look at me. That's going on in her mind. This occurs on a regular basis. Why do they let her do any of these things? I mean, where are the other wives? They're not present. Meghan Markle's always involved in some sort of scandal, and Meghan's gonna have a bad day about it. Nations are on their knees this afternoon, feeling heartbroken about what's happening in the Middle East. So perhaps Meghan believes she's wonderful and you're wonderful and you're fantastic. But she's going to have to stop pretending, the media must say anything about what is happening in the Middle East. And the parliament in the UK, and the UN, they are really centering on it, because it's a lot more critical. I mean, the press must not give Meghan Markle and Harry Kirsty attention. Nowadays several more significant, profound things on which to focus. I mean, who can even say how she is in that photo? Was she even in the game? I can't possibly remember her on a horse, let alone in those stilettos. What was she supposed to do with all of them? Nothing. I mean, can't she just let Harry be a guy? She has to worm her right way in next to Harry, she has to shove that other woman, basically, shove her out of the way. And then think of Invictus. It's got nothing to do with Invictus, but just look at her there. And Invictus, it's picked up the tab for her whole wardrobe. Oh God. I keep thinking she's got the same deal with the polo charity. She's wrong, human. It's pretty evident Megan respected nothing and nobody, she's a professional weasel. So she weaseled her way front and center of everything, even though it has nothing to do with her. At the same time, I couldn't help thinking of the polo team. They would not, in any case, be pleased to witness the crushing of their captain's photos, when she's not even a player. She's not a financial donor. She's not a captain, just another spectator, that's all. So where does she get off? Photobomb every single pick, and I bet my last dollar she will be in them all even though she has no right to be in, 
continues it's obvious only she wants to be the one being seen. It spills off her. And she's the only one hogging the camera. Sue. When she presented a trophy to Harry, I mean she has to take a seat. She has to. Sideline herself immediately. And stay there off to the side and let the team truly, I don't want to say shine, I mean she is so. Ugh. She's so irritating. She wants to be a wet blanket on everyone. And any hose, what's up with the other wives? I mean, weren't they in the picture, too? If one wife is going to have their way, so is the other. Oh, oh. I get it. They have manners. You would think she is sane enough, after last time, where once again she shoves her way into another trophy ceremony and she's so not supposed to be there. And there she is, still doing it. And, truthfully, no player could touch the cup with her in the bundle. They would have, if she hadn't been there. Harry says to her, get going, I'm coming. And I don't follow the polo match, but I do know a thing or two about horses. It is the animal that is working at any rate. If someone deserves a cup, it's a horse. And Harry is not a superb player, he just. Think a lot of him. He is always with his boots, everything you have seen. Without them, he will not handle the horse. I think his shit will not extend to the horses, as it does to everyone else. Moreover, if the show will be about the strength and ambition of this one for Polo, then they really should do a segment on cruelty to the Polo ponies as well. I agree they have to do one on that broke pregnant mother, where she when he insisted that he ride, he beat her the whole time. And again, they're in one. You know, some people get their channels terminated because they did that story. If it happens to me, you understand now. Those two, though, f asterisk 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 them. I don't care who they're going to profess their innocence too loudly to, or how obvious they want the focus out of the cluster f asterisk 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 they're embroiled in. Everyone hates them and that is never going to happen. Harry and Meghan will not reconcile with her uncle or aunt or her father. Meghan Markle doesn't even care that her family was there when nobody else was. She's a damn see asterisk asterisk asterisk, just like her husband. To be honest, at this rate, the royal family should probably look to spend their time in a more private manner. I mean Harry and Meghan have kept his name in the news every day. They've had cameras on them the whole time. It's just about filming so the money can keep going back into their bank, even a polo game for their next documentary. And for the thought of Harry riding the horse until it tired and died of fatigue, I guess it's not a very nice ad for the game either. Or that kiss, for the cameras. But as long as we keep on reading the articles and commenting, it's just going to go on and on. I never watch the programs, and even the archived links click only go. I'm not giving these people my clicks. I think in this case, they should have required Harry and Meghan to get written permission from all the players and their sponsors to film anything that day involving them and their teams. And they should then have made Harry and Meghan make a reasonable donation to the sponsors. Forward, in turn, for all that filming they're doing because look, not one penny is going to those people from that series. It's just going to Harry and Meghan and Netflix. The funny thing, too, when you think about it, is that Netflix and the traders are relying on British support for watching their shows because Americans are not very interested in polo, especially not in those two, but it's not going to work. The British media will watch and review their shows, but there is very little interest in those two. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.